Who would have thought, who would have thought just eight months ago that we'd have seen the transformation inside our Labour Party that we have? <laughs> Colleagues, we've got somebody that's putting together not just an alternative to austerity economics, but an alternative government. I give you, John McDonnell, the next <laughs> Chancellor of the Exchequer. Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> Jeremy's campaigning in Merseyside today and wanted to, you to know that he's with you all the way in this campaign. For too long, for too long, for too long, Labour leaders in the past have sought to be embarrassed by their association with struggles on the street or industrial action. That era is over. <laughs> From here on in, I give you this commitment. Whether it's in Parliament or on the picket line or on the streets, this Labour leadership will be with you. I want to salute, I want to salute the number of individuals and organisations that are at the forefront of this struggle at the moment and I think we need to recognise that these are the heroes and heroines who are taking the fight to the Tories. So let me salute the people who we will be on the picket line with on every occasion. The junior doctors, we give them our support. I wanted to say to the steel workers, we will fight for your jobs and yes, if it, we have to nationalise in the short term, we will nationalise. We will campaign to save this industry. And I want to say this, when they come to academise our schools, if the teachers wish to take industrial action, we will be with them in solidarity. And it's the same for the, it's the same for the nurses and their bursaries, it's the same for every other struggle as we go forward now. Because above all else now we need solidarity. Seven years ago we saw what the bankers and the speculators did to turn our economy into a casino and bring about the biggest recession that we've not seen since the 1930s. But even then we knew what they were coming for. They used that as an excuse to cut wages and benefits so that now a million of our families every year are claiming, unfortunately, that's queuing at the food banks. We've seen people with disabilities <coughs> assessed for work and in their thousands dying before they take up the work. And we've seen homelessness escalate on a scale we've not seen for generations. So let me say this as well. As a Labour government, when we go back into power, we will end austerity. We will end austerity. <laughs> we will halt the privatisation of our NHS and we'll reform the, a public NHS once again. And to all those people desperately waiting for homes, all those people in homeless in London tonight sleeping on our streets in their thousands, I give you this promise. We will build the hundreds of thousands of council homes that will end homelessness in our society once again. <laughs> I want to salute also 
disabled people against the cuts who on a regular basis are storming Parliament. We will scrap, we will scrap the work capability assessment and we will restore their benefits because we do not allow people with dis disabilities to live in poverty and be harassed by this government. Now after the revelations of Panama, we've been saying time and time again, austerity is not an economic necessity, it's a political choice. And the Tories demonstrated that in the budget when they cut disability benefits to cut taxes, capital gains tax and inheritance tax to the rich. But also the Panama revelations demonstrated that they've been robbing us for generations now. So we say this, we will introduce a fair taxation system and we will make the rich and the corporations pay their way in our society. What we need now as well is to create a world of peace. We cannot create that world of peace if we're investing billions and billions in weapons of destruction like Trident. And that's why we're committed to scrapping Trident if we can win the argument in the party. So I say finally this, what do we need now, and I say it time and time again, we need courage. Courage, individuals and groups standing up together, being courageous in the fight against this government. We need determination, determination that will defeat them at every opportunity, whether it's in Parliament or in picket lines or on the streets. If we, can, if we can work in solidarity together, we don't have to wait for an election in 2020. We've got to work to bring this government down at the first opportunity. <laughs> but finally, alongside courage and determination, we need one other thing. It's the thing we learned a century and a half ago at the start of the Industrial Revolution in the fields, in the small workshops. We put it on our banners. Unity is strength. An injury to one is an injury to all. The workers united will never be defeated. It's solidarity we want now. <laughs> so on behalf, of my, on behalf of Jeremy Corbyn and myself, on behalf of the leadership of the Labour Party, I pledge you courage and determination and solidarity, brothers and sisters.